everybody and welcome back to lucky by nature so today i am going to do a level up run and i've done this before but today i am going to do it on official on uh, small tribes to be exact and i want you to see exactly where i'm going uh so that way you can go ahead and verify if you would like now the reason that I'm doing this is because, um, again, we've had questions and emails and comments, uh, especially on my uh, last level up run where I was on unlimited stats. And people were like, well, this is cheating and stuff like that. But uh, the reason I did that is because previous to that, I had done... Uh, a couple and uh, I was just getting better and plus they were adding more notes and dossiers and so with those uh, what seemed to happen a lot is that I would run around trying to avoid danger and people would get lost so they couldn't find their way back uh, you know so if they saw me do a loop around uh, they they would just lose their spot and there was no way for them to get back so that's why I figured I would do that level up run where I was on uh, infinite stats and I wouldn't get bothered so that way I could show you the exact path. Uh, some people said that it was impossible. Um, I guess some people have tried it. Although there are people that I've seen on official that uh, were actually doing the level up run when I ended up coming up to them and uh, and I asked them what they were doing and they said oh, we're doing the level up run so I thought that was kind of kind of cool uh, but anyways uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do an official run on official PvP so I can pretty much get killed at any given time and I am going to start um, at a different spot just because once you learn the route it doesn't matter where you start but I am going to basically show you how easy and quick this is. So here where I'm at, uh, I, I usually spawn right here almost every single time. And right off the bat, uh, there is one up here. So let's ooh, look at that, a cage. Nice. So right off the bat, when we get this, There we go. We got to make sure that there's no danger around. And as you can see, <laughs> we are already at level 11. And that was, what, just a few seconds? So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Oh, it sounds like uh, a little thief is trying to steal basically nothing because we don't really have anything on us except for a few berries. But it will steal that as well, so... Let's just go ahead and run in here. And here we are. So we're at level 11. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, turn up the gamma. That way uh, you guys will be able to see once it gets a little darker. But there we go. So as you can see, it's it's been less than a minute and I'm already at level 19. So some of the other stuff that I... Uh, saw on there that people were telling me and actually we got a few emails apparently uh, somebody heard that the best way to do this or, or to level up is by catching alphas in a in a cage I think um, and also building boxes and of course, there's the old favorite of uh, uh, building rafts, uh, but all that stuff takes a lot of time. As you can see, I mean, I haven't been in the game for not even a minute, a whole minute, and I'm already a pretty high level. Um, but you know, that's only three. So let's go ahead and get the fourth one up here. And this is just this little section. Oh, let's go ahead and duck down. And if you are familiar with uh, these uh, dinos, you know exactly what to do. Like in that situation, you know, you just uh, duck down and let, let them run around playing tag. It's, it's no big deal. So here we have another one. 
And here, oh, oh this is gonna hurt. Yeah, I hurt a little bit. All right, all right, so I've gotten four so far, guys. Oh, and you always wanna listen for things so that way you know what to do. So obviously a raptor is after me, but I'm already way too fast for the raptor. Now, uh, I usually get to 163 in speed. That's usually my favorite. But guys, do not try to catch uh, alpha raptors when you're on foot, okay? Because even at that speed, I cannot outrun them. So that's ludicrous. So don't do that, guys. And I'm telling you that because, I mean, I don't want you guys to get into trouble. But I'm already in the 30s, guys. And we've been on here for maybe a couple of minutes. Okay, this is how fast it is. Oh, an egg. There, let's go ahead and pick it up. Now, I'm going to do this. Um, and I'm just going to get up to maybe in the 60s. Uh, because after that, it gets a, it gets a little uh, slower. But... Uh, you know, by then you can build a lot of things that can help you. That can help you get up there quicker. But uh, what I'm showing you is basically to go from uh, level 1 to maybe level 69. That sounds like a good number. Uh, you can get up into the 70s, but that's, uh, that takes a lot more effort. Uh, a lot more running around. If you actually follow the original path all the way from beginning to end that I did on that... Uh, that uh, those couple of videos that I sh oh, holy crap that's a little lag where I actually show uh, the uh, air view and the uh, uh, running view um, if you do that that whole path it'll get you into the 70s into the mid to high 70s somewhere around there so there we go uh, we're in the mid 30s and uh, that's pretty much it as far as uh, no notes and dossiers on this little island. But you saw how fast... Oh. Yeah, I'm getting lucky. Now, the other thing that I want you to know is it is way easier to do this on an official uh, server that's already established just because... Uh, dinos, uh, there won't be as many dinos because obviously people are killing them and also the areas where people build. Oh, we got to be careful about this guy. Let me get some stam back. All right, now let's go around. Uh, and don't forget that if those guys come after you, you just got to jump in the water and they usually, uh, you know, stop pretty much. Well, most things stop except for things that are large enough to just walk on the shallow water. Oh, this is great. So see, I already have a little bit of armor. And this is the cool thing about uh, doing this level up run. Not only are you leveling up really, really fast, but you also come up to drops where you can get free stuff that you will need. And so we're already off to a really, really good start. So guys, don't waste your time with, you know, building stuff. There, there really is no reason to do that. Build the stuff after you got all these uh, uh, bonus points, uh, you know, that allow you to get more uh, XP when you build stuff. Oh. See, there's an alpha over there. As long as you stay away, from, you know, a, a this decent distance from it, you're fine. It's not that big a deal. And also, try to use, uh, you know, like high, ooh, higher elevations and things like that. So if if one does come at you and you can hear it, uh, you like I said, you won't be able to outrun it, but you can outsmart it. Now I need a little stam to go along with my speed. We're level forty. And so uh, we've been at this for what, maybe six minutes, guys, and we're already at level 40. This method cannot be beat, okay, guys? It just can't. Holy smokes, look how lucky I'm getting. <laughs> it's great. And it's usually uh, moss chops that, that you will find. Um, so 
this is probably the hardest spot. Uh, you can get lost in this area. It, it's easy for me to find this one here, but it's the one after this one that's a little tougher. Those little dudes are gonna come in. Up oh, there, you go. Sometimes they miss you for some reason. So let's let's go ahead and start running. Uh, sometimes they do miss you, and but that time they got me pretty good. All right, so uh, I have to be very very careful on this one. Ah, oh, and I'm thirsty, so we're gonna have to go out. But let me see if I can find this one on the first try. And it doesn't look like it, um, cause I got I, I moved out of my usual route just by a little bit, and if that happens, then uh, well, as you can see, you're off. And and that one is a little tough to find. So what I'm I need to do is I am going to have to go get myself some water. I am gonna try to find this one just because it bugs me if I don't. But uh, as you can see, my water is is pretty low. So let's go ahead and run to the side. Oh, come on. This would be so much easier if, if I just found that one. And I'm really, really close. It's like, and so it, this kind of makes me mad because I am wasting time. So I'm going to make this a little longer than usual because for the most part, I do find them really, really fast. And it's uh, as you're going up the hill. But hey, like I said, I'm I'm doing this, and and I'm not gonna cut it. I am not gonna do any of that. So I'm just gonna uh, keep it going. And sorry about wasting your time, but uh, I'm gonna get some water real quick, and I'll come back. And if I don't find it, I'm just gonna move on. It's not really that important but i do like to find as many as i can in this area but uh we still will have so many so when you get uh your first pteranodon you can level it up really really quick the same way and typically what i do is i end up jumping over to ragnarok and I get myself a bunch of carrots and then I end up uh, getting myself a horse, a high level horse. And so with that, I go and look for a really high level Pteranodon. And believe it or not, uh, you can actually get right up to the Pteranodon uh, when it's walking and it gets stuck on you. So you, then you just kick a few times and it goes right out. And I've taken down uh, even level 150s that way. So I no longer use a uh, a you know uh, club or anything like that anymore. Just because I found that that's uh, a lot easier. And plus, uh, the horse also helps you with getting uh, narco berries, so that's uh, pretty nice as well. All right. So oh look, there it is. Nice. All right. That makes me happier. So now let's uh, cut across and go to where, towards the other water on this side because there is, ooh, oh, I'm not gonna wait for this. It's still way too high. But uh, there is a note over here. And if you guys are familiar with my usual run, I mean, I'm going way, way different this time. And like I said, it, it, just, it doesn't really matter to me which way I go, I'm still gonna basically get the same ones it's just uh like i said i i just know the route really really well by now uh what i'm uh, this is going to be my last one that i do on the island just because um i want to show people that you know you can do it so don't, don't don't go into it thinking that it is impossible and i know that some people have tried and you know they die and they give up don't give up study the path because I mean, you can get up there so, so quick. And in a way, I'm kind of going in reverse uh, for this section, but I'm still going to come back and, and uh, go my usual way. But um, 
I don't want anybody to catch wind that I'm here. So I change it up a little bit because sometimes they... <laughs> I've uh, been in some of these and they realize that it's me. Or... Well, I ended up changing my name to 123 because of it. Um, but if they realize that... It, oh, what... what <laughs> That's interesting. All right. So I'm going to start working on uh, some weights. We're at level 50. And we've been at this for what? Maybe 12, 13 minutes, guys. So we're already halfway there. But I, I mean, like I said before, it does get much, much harder as you keep on going and uh, levels get higher. But it, this is still going to get you to the point where you can build everything that you need to build right off the bat. Uh, oh, nice little Rex. So what I'm going to try to do, uh, don't forget that we still got to build ourselves a Pteranodon saddle. So I'm going to try to get uh, pretty much everything I need. Like uh, we need a bunch of hide. And then we also need some chitin or keratin. I believe around 75 maybe. I believe that's right. But uh, so anytime that I find a... Uh, like if I see a fight and I think that the uh, carnivore is going to lose, I just kind of wait. And that way, I collect a lot of uh, hide that way. But if I think that the, gonna, uh, the carnivore is going to win, obviously, they're going to eat the, the loser. So you're not going to get anything. So we got to take our time going, coming down or you're going to end up getting hurt. Uh oh. And this is what I like about uh, these uh, PvP servers is you find a lot of containers and sometimes they are full of stuff. Which I enjoy quite a bit. Now let's go get some water because our water is getting a little low. There we go. And hopefully we will get a drop where I can get a, a water skin and that makes life so much easier. But usually this area is full of uh, carnivores, but today we are lucky. But it doesn't really matter because nothing really is fast enough to keep up with us at this point. And so, unless it's uh, Alpha, we should be fine. And this area that I'm running is pretty much the same as the official run that I did, or that I have done in the past. And the re reason that I typically would use uh, this beginning here is because usually there's not that many people uh, in these areas as you can see where the place that I started there's usually a lot of people there but uh, that's what I like about these uh, small tribe servers um, it's not quite the same because most of the larger or the more powerful tribes are usually more in the map they don't typically hang out uh, unless they're beach bobs then you know but that would be fun anyway just to uh, mess with them but uh, we're not gonna do that because that's not what we're here for we're here to level up but don't be surprised if we do come up to somebody and then they try to kill us All right, so we've been at this for maybe 16, 17 minutes at this point. So if you guys can show me any any video out there 
uh, you know, it's easy for them to say, oh, we'll just do it this way or do that and this is the best way to level up. Well, you know, if they actually show you in real time, then uh, put this video against anybody's and you'll see that there is no way that any other way is faster at leveling up. There's just no way. Now, once you get higher, then I absolutely agree uh, on a few things. Um, I don't suggest you sit there and build rafts because that's just ridiculous. Um, that takes a lot of time to get, get just get the, you know, the resources. Got to check. You never know. We might get lucky. But uh, the one that I do agree with is the grinder. That one definitely does get you up there and it gets you up there quick. But uh, for that, of course, you need a Dodicarus or a uh, Beaver or even a, a Mammoth. Ooh, look at this. Lucky us. Oh, oh, it's okay. I can use these two things. And so now I'm just going to use this to get uh, the hide since I don't have anything else. But that is exactly what I'm looking for. So you're going to be killing several birds with one stone when you're doing this run. And if you see any uh, little huts or anything like that, like I said before, just make sure you look at it. You look in there and, and a lot of these people, I don't think they realize uh, the difference be between PvP and PvE because a lot of those uh, boxes are not locked, which is crazy. And uh, for the most part, it's going to be other beach bobs that come up and then try to take those things down, those boxes. And maybe some people don't want their boxes to be destroyed. Personally, I think it's, you know what, if they want it, they're going to have to work for it. Now, the reason I'm, I'm making one of these is in case I do get picked up. Uh, I can at least uh, land without dying and typically I run for the water because then they can't really pick me up then with their pteranodons or whatever it is. I even had uh, somebody come after me with a uh, wyvern. And once I got into the water, they weren't really able to do anything. And uh, the reason that they came after me is because I killed a really, really high level RG of theirs. And, and it was, uh, I didn't realize that they were the alpha of the server, but that's okay. I didn't really care, to be honest. I just, uh, I was gonna kill it, and uh, I did kill it, and then they came after me, and that was kind of fun. Oh, look at that, this one's wide open. So I'm always uh, making sure, watching my back. I, uh, my stamina was down pretty low. Now I can go ahead and grab it and go ahead and go up to the woods because I don't want to get caught over here. And at this point, I think we've been in uh, the server for about 20 minutes, give or take a minute. And, uh, also, this is helpful because you do get to see a lot of buildings that uh, are in the area. Uh, this one looks wide open, so I don't think we're going to find anything here. I am looking at the timer, and it looks like it's on its way out. Um, nine, nine days. So that's, uh, there's some stone there, but I don't need that. Yeah, there's not much here. Oh, look at that. Let's go see what level that is. But uh, this is, uh, I use this as kind of like reconnaissance. That way I do know where a lot of these uh, different people are. Uh, I look at different uh, potential uh, victims. 
that I'm going to come after uh, to see what they have. Of course, um, unless it's a stone building, I don't really bother with it just because they're not going to have much. Although I found that uh, there was this wooden uh, two story hut or maybe it, it was three story. But uh, they actually had a lot of stuff in there and I don't even know what told me to go and take a look. Uh, but I'm glad I did because I did found uh, they had a lot of metal stuff that they had already built and uh, So yeah, I ended up taking it. Uh, I didn't have any buildings at all. All I had was my pteranodon and I had just come in from uh, I don't need any of that from uh, Ragnarok And so they had all that stuff for me and uh, so I took that they also had bullets they had uh uh, some guns so I imagine they were pretty pissed off uh, once they uh, they came and they realized all their stuff was gone or the important stuff I did leave them some metal though uh, they had a bunch of ingots and uh, you know I didn't want to take everything of course so I just took what I needed and um, left uh, all the rest there but they probably I would imagine they probably got hit by somebody else because uh, a couple days later they were gone completely but you know this is PvP guys it's PvP so you know it's uh, it's either you or them and I know that uh, on the noob series when I was having a little fun people got upset but don't forget guys PvP if um, I did hear from some people saying that uh, that had happened to them or that had happened to somebody they knew where they got uh, destroyed by somebody um, if you don't like PvP just uh, go to PvE they, they don't do that to you because they can't they can't really do anything to you they can't do anything to your tames they can't do anything if you're taming something uh, and then you're in the uh, process of taming it they can't come in and, and look in the inventory and take all that stuff out they can't even hurt uh, the dino okay uh, so that's the good thing about pv so if you're here just to play the game and that's it just to go from start to finish go to pve oh something's after me but uh, as far as this i mean this is what it's all about you you gotta go and you gotta try to uh um basically kill other people and I mean, I've done the the mistake of going in and leaving somebody alone or even helping them just for them to come back and uh, basically destroy my stuff because they're like, oh, we know where he is. And sure enough, they came in and they they took all my stuff and I saw it on, on my <laughs> tribe log. So it's like, yeah, I'm not going to do that again because uh, it, it does happen. So... You know, or sometimes if you let somebody into your tribe because you feel bad for them because they, you know, give you a sob story, uh, they end up uh, basically taking all your crap. And that's what happened to me <laughs> where um, I had a raft and all that stuff and uh, they ended up taking everything. And so I was like, well, that was terrible. So I don't typically do that um, either. Um, so typically I am a lone wolf and I just come in to have some fun. I don't really like to build big or anything like that. Um, I do tend to go and have some fun with the alphas or large tribes or, you know, more powerful tribes and, and, uh, small tribes. And, uh, the reason is just because I'm going to have some fun. It's easy enough to get, uh, you know, the dinos like, uh, pteranodons and things like that. And if I can actually take them down without having much, it's it's pretty fun. And uh, I might show you basically how I go in. And within a few hours, I end up having uh, quite a few boxes full of stuff. And of course, I hide my boxes. And I use small boxes. Uh, but I, I have them full of stuff. Anywhere from scuba gear, flak, guns, and... and I typically run around uh, not entirely naked, but almost naked, or sometimes I have uh, hide uh, armor. And so I run around uh, with my hide armor uh, so people don't think I'm that dangerous. And uh, I do typically try to take them out. Uh, 
it doesn't always work but uh when i when it when it does work oh my god the the words that come out of their mouth is, is pretty funny so i think i'm gonna uh kind of work on a video kind of showing the highlights about that um, so you guys can see how fun it is and that's why I do it I don't really want to sit there and grind forever just to come back and and find everything is gone because that happens a lot and unless you have a lot of people like even in the small uh, tribe servers I find ooh, I find that a lot of uh, people actually do uh, work together so there's several tribes that are in cahoots more or less. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which uh, server I'm in in Ragnarok, but I know for a fact that there's like three tribes that uh, look after each other. And when they fight, they fight together, which uh, it's supposed to be a big no no, but I don't really care. I just like to mess with them. And, you know, I like it when they come after me and they finally kill my stuff. <laughs> That's pretty good. But I, I like to be entertained. As uh, I'm sure you all feel the same way. Otherwise, uh, uh, you know, things can get a little boring. Uh, I do want to start a Let's Play series just because, um, I mean, I've been doing this uh, PvP thing for a bit. Um, and I do have the footage and it's just, you know, mostly fun for me. But uh, I figured I could go in and get started on something new so I want to get into some mods uh, you know interesting mods that I have uh, not played with and I do want to play you know from start to finish just kind of get it done and then move on to the next thing but uh, I know that when this extension core comes out uh, we are going to be extremely busy trying to come up with ways but I think I am going to do a let's play series so that way you guys can basically see what my thought process is and basically what the process is uh, for me to find out how things are done, how certain dinos get, um, uh, you know, what you're supposed to do with certain dinos to tame them or things like that. So you guys can actually see all my, uh, my fails. But I think uh, that would be kind of fun. And I know that a lot of people have asked uh, for that. Because you want to see basically my process, which, you know, my process is not any different than anybody else's. I just t try to think outside the box and uh, and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, oh, a bed. I can use a bed. I can use... Uh, uh, no, let's just take the bed and that's pretty much it. I don't even really need that box. I'm not quite ready for that yet. We still got a lot of running around to do. And there's a lot of crazy stuff going on there. So we're going to avoid that. And we have to jump right here. Ugh. Then we have to go to our little spot. But uh, there's a lot of danger right here. So this one's going to be a little tough to find. I can tell you that right now just because I'm not going my usual route. And it's really, really dark over here. Which, uh, this is a really good spot for people to actually build a small base, like, uh, just, you know, something so small. Uh, but also be aware that some people do come through this area looking for people that are hiding. So be aware of that because that's exactly what I do. And other people have be beaten me to the punch, so... I come through and I find uh, beat up buildings. Oh, this is going to waste my time again. I'm not going to spend any more than an hour because typically I get to around 69, 70 uh, well before the hour. So I am going to see if I can get to that point, even though I'm wasting a little time here. But as you can see, it's extremely, extremely foggy. So, uh, yeah, this is rough. But if I can't find it, I'm not going to waste too much time. But like I said before, it bugs me if I don't find them. So I'm going to try to go back to the spot that I usually would go to. 
and I'm way off right now. And see, this is the reason why people would get lost because at this point, you don't really know which way you're going. So I have to use my uh, map to point me the right direction. And we are about 33 minutes in to the video. And the big question is, am I going to get killed? Ooh, what is this? Oh, see, this is not that bad. This is not... There's stuff in there. Hmm. So I know about where it is. So that way I might... Uh, come and visit. Once I get my grenades going. But uh, it might be gone by then. So I need to find the cliff and here we are. All right. So now we need to go straight and <laughs> look how hard it is to, to see. And if there's a carnivore around here, it's going to, it's going to set off, uh, set us off course and, uh, we won't be able to find this. I know I'm super close. But at this point, it's so dark that I have no choice but to look for the letters. I mean, but think of how close you have to be to be able to see it. Oh, that's not the right letters that I'm looking for. So see guys, even I have a little trouble. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> But see, I'm not getting levels all that fast anymore. But I do have 14,000 seconds. And I'm going to pick up a lot more unless I get killed. So the big question is, uh, will I get killed? Here, we're going to start going through a more dangerous area. And then we're going to be going through more populated areas. So, so stay tuned because it may happen. There's one down there. There's a, a note or dossier. And uh, I think I'm just going to go down the hill here because I don't want that uh, tickle chicken to come after me. So I'm just going to go to the left over here. And uh, I hope that you guys can still see all right. So just watch how I go down. Uh, you shouldn't get too hurt. And then we're going to slide a little bit. Oh, see, that was perfect. And that's, uh, I, I tend to do that quite a bit actually. Um, and sometimes you get a little hurt and other times uh, you get lucky like I just did. But now we're gonna go towards the swamp and that, my friends, is where it's gonna get a little sketchy because it is dark and I hate going through the swamp when it's dark because if a Titan Boa comes out and it bites you or if one of those uh, Trudons gets you. And look, speaking of Trudons. So that's going to set me off a little bit, but I need to bring them away. And hopefully I brought them this way enough. So now I just kind of have to go around a little bit. But keep your ears peeled for, for Titan Boas. So if you hear that hissing, oh no, that's, that's Trudons. <laughs> okay. We're going to do like a quick boom and then let's get the heck out of here. We're getting closer to our next level. And you got to be able to recognize every type of sound. You got to be familiar with them because then you'll know whether you need to take off or not. Uh, at this point, make sure that uh, you try to keep up oh, hear that. That was a Titan boa and there's a Raptor over there. We got to stay away from that. Uh, it's really, really hard to see. Keep an eye on that uh, stem because that could mean the end for you. The sun is starting to come out, which is good. 
But now I lost my place. Uh, so I think I went too far. Yeah, uh, this is starting to look a little different. Um, so I missed one. So what I'm going to have to do is I am going to have to go back. But uh, let me get out of here real quick. I just want to see whereabouts I am at. I need some water. So now I'm going to get a little crazy and I am going to go into the swamp and get water there, which kind of sucks. But we have no choice because we don't want to pass out. And I'm way, way past uh, the other uh, note or dossier. Because now I know where I'm at. Okay, so we got to go back. Uh, I think it's close to where that um, Alpha Raptor is. I'm pretty sure it's in that vicinity. Okay, that sounds like a purser. A purse Ethereum. Whoa, that was a little lag there. Okay, I see the the raptor way out there in the distance. You see it? All right, so now I'm looking for my rock um, because there's a dossier or notes right off a rock, but I still think I'm way too far. This. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, I hear a uh, raptor. And I know it's not the alpha because the alpha would have already been on top of me. So we're good. But always be aware of where your water is because uh, that's what's going to save your life. As long oh, no worries. They're not fast enough to turn around and uh, they're not even fast enough to keep up with us. There's a trude on. And I already got everything through here, so I just need to make my way all the way down uh, towards that uh, green drop. Not quite that far, but I'll use this as shelter for the, for the time being. And then we'll check here in a sec. Looks like this is eight days old since they were last here, so looks like they quit once uh, they got raided. But I do like to use these a lot of times uh, to build my own stuff if I have uh, certain things. Like ingots, for instance. If I find ingots, which, you know, a lot of the times um, you do find ingots here and there uh, that somebody ha has. and uh, So we'll see if we get lucky or not. Uh, but uh, we are going to be covering a pretty decent amount of, uh, of map. So the odds are in our favor. Okay, there's another one down here and that uh, okay let's go get the the next one and then we'll see how how well we're doing on our levels see if we've gotten to my target yet because we are 40 minutes in I have wasted some time so it hasn't been a perfect run but it's all right we're being realistic here and so far we haven't really found anybody and, and I mean there was a decent amount of people in here uh, this uh, area right through here is shallow so you can run right across make sure you get a little drink of water all right um, I can't get up there there's one up there but there's it's full of uh, uh, species X plants so that one I seriously doubt that I'll be able to get in there but let me take a closer look up here because it looks pretty protected and I could run in and not get hit uh, but as soon as I stop I'm done 
So yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna mess with that. So let's look over this way and see what's here. It looks like it's already been hit. Let's check and see if they left anything. Oh, they were pretty thorough, that's for sure. All right, uh, there should be one behind this. Uh, where are you, where are you? You see how clear this is? So it looks very different in my eyes because uh, <laughs> I look for certain trees and things like that, but uh, it, it's not a big deal. I still know approximately where it should be and it should be right around as we go around this building. So I think it's right behind this building. Uh, there it is. See, I wasn't off by that much. And I know that people were giving me a hard time about, oh, you know, you got to look at this little peak. You got to look at this. You got to look at that. But guys, uh, believe it or not, I mean, it's much, much harder to find these things whenever there's nothing around. And if you can do it, then it becomes a lot easier uh, when things are cleared out like you see here. I mean, almost all this area. Oh, look at this. This is easy pickings, but it looks like somebody already hit it. Uh, yeah, all well, this is it's not going to have anything. But see, as you can see, they're all wide open for people to just come up and just take it. And I know, like I said before, somebody's going to say the reason is because they don't want their boxes to get destroyed. But uh, trust me, guys, you don't want to leave your boxes out in the open like that. And plus, I don't want to come over and be like, oh, le let me see what I have and find out that all my stuff is gone. So I'm not even going to get close to that guy. Uh, so I would rather them destroy my box so that way I know that it got hit and when it got hit and by who it got hit by. Because that way I can get my sweet revenge. But that's just me. I mean, that could be just crazy. And other people may see it differently, but uh, that's the way I see it. And uh, I enjoy going after people. And if they start it, hey, I have every right to uh, retaliate, I think. So that's always pretty fun. All right, so we got to get across this. Sometimes there are piranhas. Uh, so you want to find the, the narrowest part of this river. And usually we can jump all the way across. There we go. Almost, ma almost made it. Oh, okay. This there's no roof on there, so there's nothing there to look at. And those one by ones, typically all there is there is usually a bed. So we're sitting at 18,000, over 18,000 seconds of boost, XP boost. So this is probably the area if we're going to get hit by piranhas, but um, they shouldn't be able to kill us because we do swim pretty fast due to our speed. I see a little metal over there. Um, this is metal. I mean, there's metal on this mountain here. So our odds of finding some ingots is going to be better. It's not guaranteed. Definitely not guaranteed, but we have better odds. Uh, yeah, we can't make it. We'll have to go around this tree. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much it for that. Now we got to go across over here. And this is the one that I have trouble with sometimes, um, especially since I'm cutting through. This is not good. I shouldn't cut through, but I'm doing it anyway. Maybe I'll get lucky. But uh, the one here is kind of hidden in all these bamboo looking uh bushes 
that this this right here looks like the path that I would take to go towards the top of the mountain. So I'm way off. Me, yeah, it would be this right here. So we are gonna have to go back because I'm way way off. Let me go this way. <laughs> oh man. If I was ready to get something, um, I would be going after that because I think I could take, uh, could hit its fin maybe, and uh, and get that. But uh, let's not worry about that. I have a feeling I'm gonna waste time here as well because if I don't get it the first time, I usually always waste too much time here. And I know I'm close. Where the hell are you? Okay. See those. Uh, those big stone uh, gates, those behemoth gates are kind of throwing me off. I have a feeling that there, it's probably closer to those uh, behemoth gates. Yeah, it's. I'm going to have to go back. Oh, what is this? Wow, all kinds of stuff is tra uh, trapped in uh, these uh, stone, these boulders. Uh, there's my little path right there. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, nothing. Nothing so far. So we're not getting lucky, guys. Um, let me go ahead and I already wasted a few minutes here. It's making me mad. So let me go back to where I would typically come from. And all I'm doing here is coming back the way that... Oh, my God. See? I knew it. <laughs> There we go. It was wide open, and that, like I said, that those buildings throw me off. But it wasn't too bad. Okay, so now we're gonna head up. Uh, gosh, I don't even remember what. Uh, I think I'm already level sixty nine, or sixty eight. But uh, after I get this next one, I'll look. Cause this uh, this area here is a little dicey. Um, Usually a lot of people are built up right through here just because of all the metal and there is some um, crystal as well. So let's go up to the top. There's one up here in the top and then we're going to go straight down and uh, oh, look at this. It always gets scary when there's metal because uh, there's oh lag because there's a chance that they could have turrets. And there's been a couple of times where I've gotten killed. I'm running full speed and all of a sudden I get destroyed. Okay, so now we go straight down towards those little bunch of trees there. And there should be one there. And uh, we haven't quite got to the next level yet. All right, it should be right below here, but let me make sure that I'm far enough from those. Oh, look at this from those uh, species X. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there we go. See, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I don't really have that uh, much weight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on a couple of things. I need to make myself uh, some a metal pick and a metal hatchet. So I might as well start getting all my goodies that I typically use ready. Right now, uh, up to now, I haven't really had that much to uh, to lose. So I didn't really care if somebody did get me. I mean, the thing that would hurt the worst, of course, is the is the XP points that I have there. All right, so let's go ahead and make these guys. And uh, I don't know if this person's around or not, so, or if somebody else is around, but I need to make a spyglass. I'll go ahead and, uh, okay, these guys are good to go. There we go. So now we are pretty much ready to start um, 
getting making some metal and things like that so for that we would need a raft but we're nowhere near ready for that at least not here uh, I would end up going over to one of the Ragnarok uh, maps making myself a raft and then I would end up uh, putting a uh, one of those uh, what's it called mm, forge I would end up putting a forge and a smithy well, in the you know out in the open. Um, usually, typically, people stay away from you if you're riding around. But uh, uh, you want to do it uh, during the day, you know, burn the metal, and so that way you can make stuff on your smithy or in your smithy. But uh, don't do it at night because then that's typically when they come, like fly some poop, and they'll come after you. But um, Anyways, uh, I did say that I was going to get to level 69. I am level 69 already. Uh, we are. We have been in the map for approximately 52 minutes, 51 minutes, something like that. So I think that's pretty much it. That's just, This is as far as I'm going to go. Um, I don't even... Oh, I don't even know why I did that. I can do it here. <laughs> Okay, so now I have that. Um, I'm off to a really good start, actually. And if somebody does come at me uh, with a pteranodon or something to that effect, I will be able to bring them down. And I might be able to steal their stuff, like their flock and things like that. So that's what I'm going to try to look for. But anyways, uh, I hope that this is helpful to you guys. As you can see, it is very, very doable. It, it is official. It is PvP. And it is small tribes, so you do get more points on small tribes than you do on regular. So don't forget that. That's why we were able to get to 69 so fast. And we still have a whole nother half of the run because we're only about halfway of the run, guys. So do realize that. But anyways, uh, so um, yeah, as far as the whole, uh, you know, building a bunch of boxes or all this other stuff, guys, come on. That, that's crazy crazy don't be trying to catch no alphas uh in 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 fact that's i've never even heard that before guys to be honest to catch alphas in a uh in a cage that is like i'm gonna have to try it actually but uh i mean i can kill alphas just uh, from you know sitting on top of a cliff so i don't necessarily need to catch them but that's interesting and i would like to know um you know how you guys came up with that like like who told you that because uh, the email says that you heard uh, That that was the best way to level up and uh, of course obviously I disagree because you need a lot of uh, arrows uh, you're gonna be going through a ton of uh, uh, other things and Let's also not forget. Oh That was scary. I heard something else. I thought it was somebody coming at me, but uh, let's not forget that if you put a cage and let's just say that you happen to put it like i don't even know how uh around a raptor a, an alpha raptor which i think it would be too big anyway but let's just say you could let's not forget that the raptor would take a couple of bites and destroy it to smithereens okay so and it doesn't even matter if you stand away from it because don't forget that if it's aggroed on you it will destroy your stuff. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's just a pillar or just uh, a foundation. If if you are get too far away from it, it will go after your stuff and destroy it. Um, so I don't know who, uh, where you guys got that, but I would love to hear from you. And you know who you are, so just let me know. I want to know. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. And I want to see if somebody actually did it. I want to see it with my own eyes. Because did they did they actually do it or did they just say you could do it? Because if if they just said, then you know, in that case, I can tell you, put a giga in one of those and boom, kill it and you're good. But you know that's nonsense. I'm gonna go ahead and stop here, guys. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, that's it for me. So until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.